What's up, my friends? Danny Coker here, AKA The Count, with another episode of Count's Finer Details on one of my personal rides. Now, straight off the bat here, I kinda wanna lay to rest a myth. Uh, everybody says, everybody says, oh, Danny doesn't like new cars or newer cars. Uh, he just doesn't like that. He hates that kind of stuff. I don't know where that came from. If they're cool, I dig them. If they're not, whatever. So I want to talk to you about a car in my stable, a personal car that I love, that I enjoy a lot. Uh, and it happens to be a newer car. Yes, it's not a new car, but it is a newer car. It is a 2008, <gasps> Danny Coker has a 2008. Believe it or not, he's got stuff even newer than that. Anyways, it's a 2008 Cadillac STS V series. <laughs> Why did I choose the STSV? I chose the STSV. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot two. Uh, I like a little more room. I like a little more substance. Sometimes I also do things like business dinners and things like that. So it's nice to be able to take four large size uh, adults in a vehicle and go somewhere. It's also great. Uh, just a bigger, more comfortable car. Um, being a Cadillac guy, I like a little bit bigger. I like a little bit more substance, things like that with my Cadillacs. The V-Series, phenomenal. High performance right out of the box. Car is uh, pushing uh, factory numbers. 469 supercharged horse, I believe 439 foot-pounds of torque. The car's factory specs, uh, as far as performance, was zero to 60, was somewhere in the mid four range and a quarter mile was high 12s. That's very impressive, folks, for a factory four-door large Cadillac luxury sedan. Uh, those are really impressive numbers for basically any kind of performance car. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but knowing me, I can't really leave anything much alone, I gotta mess with some stuff. So there's a company called D3 out of California and they build uh, wonderful parts and they do magnificent tuning on Cadillacs, very high performance things for Cadillacs. So I actually sent mine to D3 and I let them have some fun without going too crazy. And without going too crazy, they got some serious performance numbers out of this car. They did an amazing intake setup on it uh, they did a great uh, underdriven pulley setup on it. They did uh, some computer reprogramming and tuning setup on it. Um, I also added, uh, here at Counts Customs, we added a full Corsa exhaust system on it. And uh, they got out of the car on the dyno, I got the dyno sheet, 581 horsepower at the rear wheels. Man! That's a lot of horse at the rear wheels. And remember, folks, it's a four-door luxury Cadillac sedan. You got your Cadillac 4.4 liter, aluminum block, aluminum heads, factory supercharger. Yeah, and you've got you know this, this magnificent cold air intake set up on it and uh, everything is all smooth bore and polished and beautiful. They did a, a computer reprogramming upgrade setup on it. They did a pulley underdrive setup on it without ever, ever, ever even breaking into the engine. It's phenomenal. And between their tuning setup and these things and the exhaust and stuff that they did to it, 581 horse at the wheels. 581 horse at the wheels, man. I got the dyno sheet from them. It's phenomenal. And trust me, the car really, really rocks. <laughs> Thump like a Cadillac should. I uh, also did some suspension upgrades as well uh, through D3, as a matter of fact. Now, I, I wanted to change the stance of the car, sat a little bit high for me from the factory. So um, D3 just really did these beautiful struts and springs and shocks set up on this car. We lowered it, I believe, uh, two and a half inches in the front and three inches in the rear, but on top of it, the dampening and the spring 
uh, ratio setup on it is just wonderful. Again, it's very firm and very sporty, but yet it's not shaking your teeth loose. You're still in a Cadillac, and that's really a wonderful uh, ride and a wonderful setup. Handling is just phenomenal. It's so nimble. <music> Some years back, I had a magnificent company called Fixie. I had to make me some wheels some years back for another car of mine, and I was so highly impressed that when I was looking to have a set of custom wheels made for this car, I just called Fixie and I told him what I had, told him the car was lowered, told him how far it was lowered, and basically gave them zero specs. Didn't tell them about the bolt pattern, didn't tell them about offset or backspacing or measurements or anything like that. I just said, I want the most I can stuff under this car in a performance size. So Fixie did all the math, man, and they are fantastic. I went with 19 inch on all four corners. Go ahead, start your typing, start your griping, do your thing. You know, man, you can put 20s in there. You put 21, you can put 22s in there. Ooh, I know that. I know that. Did you hear what I said? I wanted something that filled out the car in a performance spec. I don't want O-rings. I don't want all wheels and O-rings. You know, I still want a little bit of tire on the car. Uh, I want them to perform well, and I want them to look proper, not like a wagon train going down the road or something, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I chose 19 inch all the way around. Fixie did all the math, man. Uh, the bolt pattern, fantastic. The width and the offsets, backspacing, perfect. We fit 19 by nines in the front. We fit 19 by tens in the rear. Fills it right out to the edge on all four corners. And as the car is lowered, there's no rubbing, no scrubbing, no anything. Check these out, come with me, come with me. These fixie wheels, man, absolutely gorgeous. Huge factory Brembo brakes. Unbelievable, three-piece fixie wheels. They are 19 nines in the front. Boom, 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 boom. They are 19 tens in the rear. And again, the way fixie set it up, right to the edge of the fender, man. Fills this car out beautifully. And with uh, the suspension upgrades that D3 did, I mean, literally, Everything fits perfectly, front and rear, right there. Car sits beautiful. This car, body, 100% factory, no mods. 2008 Cadillac STS V. Now the V series uh, um, in 2008, the hood is changed. It's got like a cowl inducted style hood on it from Cadillac, and that's to fit the supercharger under the hood. Uh, comes with a much larger lower front fascia, chin spoiler, bigger lower grills, things like that. So I didn't touch the body on this car at all. I didn't touch the paint on this car. This is still 2008 Cadillac silver. It's perfect, it's beautiful. Interior, gorgeous, soft gray leather, suede inserts, all factory Cadillac. A beautiful leather wrapped dash, all factory Cadillac. Monster, fantastic stereo in this car, all factory Cadillac. The navigation setup, the whole bit, the wood grain in it, it's all factory Cadillac. Didn't touch any of that stuff, man. It's a whole lot of fun. It's a car that I drive on a regular basis. It's a car that I truly enjoy. Drive it every day on the road if you want to. Turn your air conditioning on in the heat, it's great. Doesn't act up, doesn't act weird, doesn't behave strangely in any way, shape, or form. Huge performance numbers uh, and a whole lot of fun. And speaking of fun, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's take this thing for a drive and uh, let's go enjoy this car, it's great. You know, we're, uh, we're talking about this Cadillac STS-V today for a couple of reasons, a few reasons. I mean, I love the car. Uh, it's one of my personal cars. I really enjoy this car a lot. Um, and it shows that I do enjoy newer type of cars as well. Everybody has this 
uh, myth about me that I don't like new cars and or newer cars. I, I really appreciate them when they're cool and correct. But a lot of you have seen uh, my V in the background of other videos that we've done. And there's uh, quite a following for cars like this. And so uh, a lot of you have requested. Let's talk about your V. So we're talking about the V. <laughs> and I like it when the V talks back. Handles fantastic, and you still got a great ride, but you know, you can whip this thing around corners and stuff. It's very nimble for such a large car. <laughs> yeah, wag the tail, so to speak, a little bit there. You know, driving a performance vehicle like this, it's all about having fun. No, it's all about being safe, too, you know? You got to know your car. You got to know your car. You got to know what it does and uh, how it's going to react so that you can react. It's all acting and reacting. Like that. You know? This car just gets down. But I pretty much know what it's going to do. I've been driving this car for years. I know how it's going to behave. So when I make it do something, <clears throat> I pretty much know what, how it's going to behave. So there you have it, everybody. 2008 Cadillac STSV done the count's way. I love this car. I'm glad that a lot of you have asked to see this car because you've seen it in other videos in the background and you've just said, come on, man, talk about that car. Cool, it's a great car. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this edition of Count's Finer Details as we go into this wonderful sweeper here on this year corner yeah man with my 2008 cadillac stsv and uh feel free to subscribe to the counts customs youtube channel i'm going to keep bringing you cool stuff my cars customers cars friends cars cool people cool things tune in and enjoy the counts customs youtube channel and the counts finer details see you soon